You're all welcome for this last day in the month of uh, April. Hallelujah. Just a minute, please. I'm going to... Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, uh, today is a very unique day as far as the, our restoration is concerned. Hallelujah. We have had several exposition concerning the topic for this month, which is uh, dominion over diseases and sicknesses. So today is another day to to wrap it up and i want to believe strongly that as many of us that partake in this sunday's uh, teaching must have gained one thing or the other to know that of indeed sound health is our right praise the lord so wow. today by the grace of god we'll be having another powerful man of god anointed man of god who God has endured to minister his word. Hallelujah. Even as I welcome every one of us, both in US here and in Nigeria and all over the whole world from Pakistan, I welcome in Jesus' name. We are woman of God. God will be using this evening for us in the person of our Pastor Jennifer, Venice, all the way from Florida. God bless you, man. God bless you. Let's begin to appreciate God. Let's appreciate God briefly. Let's appreciate God. Let's appreciate God for bringing us together. Let's thank God. Let's thank God. Let's appreciate God. He has been there for us in the beginning of this month. It's not by power. It's not by might. It's by the grace of Almighty God. Let's appreciate God. Let's appreciate God for that grace. For the grace to wake up. For the grace to sleep and to wake up. For the grace to go out safely and come back safely. Let's appreciate him. It's mighty God. It's mighty God. It's mighty God. Let's appreciate God for finding our battle in open and secret. Let's appreciate God for making this team to come to reality in our life, dominion over sickness and diseases. Let's appreciate God for some health man and body that he has given unto us. Let's appreciate God. Let it honor glory unto him. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because of mighty God. Let's commit the woman of God to the hands of God that God wants to use this woman, that God to empower her, God to increase his anointing upon her, upon her life, and as she ministers, she will minister as a flaming fire. And as she ministers today again, healing will take place, deliverance will take place, salvation will take place. Oh, ministries, individual ministry will be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us appreciate God. Let us appreciate God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's commit all our members, all the ministers that need to be on this platform. Committed. Let's commit to the dance of God. That God to remind them, God to energize them, God to strengthen them, God to bring them in to connect to this platform so that we can all receive the blessing of healing uh, this evening again. In the name of Jesus Christ, all our ministers, Far and near, in Pakistan, in Nigeria, both in U.S. here, let's come to the hands of God. God, God in infinite mercy, to awake them, to remove every discomfort in love of ministers, every every discomfort that any minister will be facing. That's on this plan, God to remove it, God to remove it, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. And through this message today, let God establish every ministry. Let God reestablish us, some health man and body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you to the cause of mighty God. That as our minister will be ministering this evening, once again, let's ask God for healing. Let's ask God for healing. Let's ask God for deliverance. Let's ask God. Let's ask God for better understanding of his word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. For in Jesus' almighty name we are praying. Father, take all their glory because of mighty God. 
thank you lord for the life of every minister that have connected to this hour of restoration from the beginning of this month thank you for seeing us through thank you lord for the privilege to minister your word in our different churches father i pray oh lord to this another great day the last day in this month of april glorify yourself in our life in our family in our ministries in the name of jesus christ Father, we commit this hour unto you, Lord. Let your will be done. Take charge of this hour restoration. That even as your daughter will be ministering, Lord, let each other who are connected to this platform be restored, both spiritually and physically. Oh, in every department of our lives, in Jesus' name, including our ministries, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for your daughter that I'm going to use now. Father, I pray. You will baptize her, you will anoint her, oh Lord, afresh with Holy Ghost and power in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because of the mighty God. Father, I want to see you, Lord, use our Lord as your own oracle, even to minister our word this moment and take all their glory. Take all their, take all their adoration. For in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So you are on. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise God. Amen. This evening, I just want to give honor to God, who is the head of my life, my source, my my provider, my deliverer, oh, and my God. healer. And so I just want to greet everyone of God, awesome, wonderful minister in this platform. Praise be to God. To God be the glory. Uh, the shout out to Evangelist Williams, in, all the way from Jamaica. Missionary Brown Rose, to God be the glory, and every one of our bishops and pastors and this forum tonight in the name of Jesus. And Amen. I'm just going to lift a word of prayer. Father, we thank you today. We give you praise. We give you glory and we give you honor. Lord, as I come before your throne of grace to break your word, Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you use me as an oracle of time. Crucify self and let your name be glorified, Holy Father. As I bring your word, teach your word today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, um, today is the last Sunday of our month and um, the last Sunday for this topic. And yes. it's, um, the topic today is dominion over sickness yes. and diseases. Yes. Praise his holy name. And Hallelujah. the foundation scripture is from Exodus 15, 23 to 26. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll just read a portion of it. And when they came to Mara, they could not drink of the waters of Mara, for they were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called Mara. Mm -hmm. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, mm -hmm. What shall we drink? And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree, which when he had cut it into, show it into the water, the water were made sweet. There he made for them a statue, an ornament, an ordinance, and they approved them. And said, if you will uh, listen carefully to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do what which I have in thy sight, and will give ears to this commandment, and keep all his statue, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptian, for I am the Lord that he let thee. Praise Amen. his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today we see, um, we read the scripture. We, we see where we have dominion over sickness and over diseases. Praise his holy name. And um, I like to define the words that um, were given. And I def the definition for the dominion is God is a God agenda. It is the will and a plan for the redeemed. It is God agenda. It is the will and plan for the redeemed. That means for his redeemed people. Mm. The dominion included authority over principalities, sickness, diseases, power, and wickedness. The dominion is the power of governing and controlling sovereign authority and rules dominion also is not your ambition it is your heritage in christ and you mm -hmm. can look it up in revelation 5 10 praise his holy name 
we go and then we say, we, now you have made them to be kingdom and priests to serve our God and they will reign on the earth. Praise his holy name. That's Revelation oh, 5 Lord. and 10. Praise his holy name. Sickness is a state of being ill, a disorder, an unsound condition to being unhealthy. Like for a few months ago, I was in the hospital because I had a strokes in my brain, which portrayed to the left side of my body that sicknesses and that caused me to end up in a rehab for some time. So I was almost in the hospital. But God is a healer, praise his holy name. Disease is a condition of a person, animal, or plants in which its body structure is armed because of organ is unable to work as it usually does. So you see that disease, that, that infirmities caused me to, was unable to go around freely as I could. So that's why I had to be in a rehab for some time. Praise his holy name. The Israelite, from this passage, the Israelite were spiritually immature. They were a proud and teachable people. They lacked spiritual stamina and failed to recognize God as their provider, their healer, and the almighty God, gracious savior. And that's how they, they lack those things. They lack stamina. Even though they were, they were crying out for help and he intervened, he answered their prayer. Praise his holy name. God possessively revealed many factors of his eternal characteristic through his servant Moses. Praise his holy name. And through the scripture, we see where God revealed himself as Jehovah Rapha. He's mm -hmm. our healer. He said, I am the God that healeth you. Hallelujah. God revealed himself also to Abraham as Almighty God, the everlasting Father. Praise his holy name. He also identified himself to Abraham again when he said he, he, he provide. He said he is the provider. When he spoke the word, I will provide a lamb. Praise be his holy name. It was God who saved his people, Israel, after 400 years of bondage in Egypt. When they were under Pharaoh, there, when they applied the, the sh when they applied the shed blood and the linting of their door, it was the evidence of three of the tree of the Passover of lamb. That was evident. That was a tree that God was telling Moses to root out. Who shed blood at Calvary would provide the means and e of for healing and the nation and saving the people from their sin and sickness and diseases. Christ would come as an arm of salvation for the last sheep. He would come to heal the nation from their spiritual sickness and diseases. And that's why Jesus Christ came. He came that he would be the healer. And if, we, if you notice, when, when he entered on earth, he could, among the, he could be among the richest and the wealthy, but he stood among the poor. And everywhere he went, he was healing all different kinds of infirmities, diseases, sickness. He healed the blind. He made the dumb to talk, the lame to walk. And he even raised the dead, Lazarus from the dead. Praise be his holy name. He would, he would awake them from their spiritual slumber and remove the blindness of their eyes. Because, you know, they were spiritually blind. That's why they couldn't be patient and they couldn't trust in God. He would come praise his own, he would come and as his righteous, as righteousness to uplift their hands and heal them from all their sicknesses, their sin, their suffering, the plagues of this world since the fall of Adam. So God, Jesus Christ came since the fall of Adam, Adam, because of Adam disobedient, he came as a lamb. He came so that he could make that difference you know, he could provide for us a way to enter to eternity and give us a hope. He came as a sacrifice lamb. Praise be his holy name. He would come as a promised one who would fulfill the covenant God with his people and he would have come as a sacrifice for our sins. Praise his holy name. 
God was showing the people them at Mara, Mara. Even though they were going through the wilderness for three days without water, they were spiritually blind. And they were easy to forget, just like some of us today. We so easy forget the things that God has done. We so easily forget who he is. Praise his holy name. And because of that, they start grumbling and murmuring. And they start get, taking out their anger. And the man of God, the same servant who God used to bring them through the Red Sea, who part that Red Sea for them. He was the same man God used, the same vessel. They start take out their anger and God and they take out their anger and him. Praise his holy name. God was showing the, his people that in him is Christ, the promised Messiah. And he able to turn bitter water into joy. He can turn obstacles into opportunity. He can change problem into precious promises. God Demonstrate his power and sufficiency, grace, so that his people could trust him when in need and to rely on him alone. And that is why the water was bitter because they were angry and they were, you know, they, they couldn't see. It. And instead of to them to focus on the God who bring them through that Red Sea, the same God, instead of to cry out to him, like some of us, you have some people, instead of they cry out to God when they go in through, they rather run to see the sea of man. They rather run to see the witches and, you know, instead of the eternal God. And you have Christian who's still doing stuff like this. But he's saying, trust in him. And this was just a test for them. And they failed it. Just a test. And they failed the test. They couldn't trust in the God who bring them through the wilderness the same God who make them to see the light to a day. And he gave them at night, the cloud, the pillar of cloud uh, and the pillar of fire. They don't remember the things that God has done. They don't remember that when they were in Egypt, some of them didn't even get enough water for a days. Right? They cry out to God and the same God who answered their prayer, they forget all about him. Praise his holy name. Praise God. And so God was just giving them a test. To, set, to, set, to see who they are, who they would have trusted. But you see what happened. David, not David, Moses, Moses, know who his source was. He know that he couldn't do it by himself. So he turned to his source, which is God. The same God who sent him, equipped him and sent him. He cried out to God and see what God did. God, God tell him to go. Show him a tree. Praise his holy name. And the Lord showed him a tree, which, the tr which he threw into the water to cast it to heal of its bitterness, taste, and it becomes sweet. So right there, Moses, the Lord said, direct Moses to say, there is a tree over there. Go get that. Right? And that tree that Moses threw in the water, it was not a magic tree. Moses root out from some root. And toss into the water. It was not some occultic or magician work he does. Praise his holy name. It wasn't any trick. The tree that turned bitterness was a picture, praise his holy name, of the hooding cross of Calvary, which take the take away the bitterness and heal for healing for us today. That was the cross that Jesus take. That was it was a sign, a picture of the cross that Jesus was gonna nail on for our sicknesses, for our diseases, for all our infirmities, and all our struggles and ache and pain that we are going through. Praise be His holy name. That Amen. was a picture of the of that tree, and God was saying to them, "Look, this bitterness, this bitter water." Is, is the water that is going to bring healing to the nation. It's going to bring healing to your people, your generation to come. Because it was, it, it's going to show that the blood that shed is going to bring healing. He is the Barmin Gilead. He is the physician. Our circumstances always change. But our faith in God, provision, should never, should never waver. As Christian and as servant and as minister of God, we should never have a wavering faith. 
we should always believe that the God who called us from where we were. A lot of us, we can sometimes, some of us can't even talk, can't even testify of where God brought us from. He's the same God. He never changed. He still sits at the throne, interceding today on our behalf. Mm. Praise be his holy name. Hallelujah. Behind everything today, we can see in the physical, there are spiritual forces. Sickness, no sickness is, is not just really physical sickness. Some of them are spiritual sicknesses. Some of these are forces of darkness. And that's why um, David in 91, he talks about the rest not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Paul said, we fix our eyes onto what is seen. But on what is unseen, for what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. So we fix our eyes on the thing, right, that we see temporary. But the things that is unseen, we're not fixing our eyes on it. And that is what is going to give us the victory, eternal God. When we, when we see we're going through, and we're trusting in God, at the end of the, at the rope, and you notice when a race is about to run, everyone is down and they're ready. When they say go, everyone go. But it's only one, the only one winner is the one who end at the end. They are the one who get the prize. So when you run this race in patience and with faith, believe in God, praise His holy name. Then you know the victory is gonna be yours. Blessed be His holy name. You know when you go through your sickness and your disease and your infirmities, and you look to God who is the healer. Praise be his holy name. You trust in him. I know I can I can talk. I can talk of it. I can testify of it. Because I know I've been there. And I see who bring me out. I have an evangelist on this line. She was down for so many months. You know, I went to the doctor, give up on her. But what? She know who is our healer. She know who was her barman giller. And the woman of God stood her ground and she waited on God. And God bring her out as pure as gold. And today she can come on this forum today. Praise be his holy name. Hallelujah. And that's why Paul said, brother and sister, there are spirit behind the oppression of sickness and diseases. Paul again in Acts 10, 38, again in, in Luke 3, 12 and 13. He said, God, how God anoint Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. And how he went around doing good, healing all, not some, you know, all who were under the power of the devil. Because God, has, God was with them. Praise his holy name. He was Amen. going around healing. That's why he was not around the riches, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. He stood with the blind, the leopard. Praise his holy name. He was with the poor. Praise his holy name. Mm. And, that's, 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 and he was doing good everywhere. Even though the same people, they were crucifying him, biting him, telling, calling him all different types of names. But yet still, he never gave up. He was there. Evangelist Luke again, in Luke 13, 12, he said, When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, Woman! You are healed of your sickness. You are work of Christ and the mandate of Christ. God called her. He was on a mission to heal, to deliver. And even though the woman, when she, she, she scrambled and she touched his garment, he was right there to heal her because what? He's God and everywhere he went, he was doing good. And this was an example he was leaving on earth us we will go through storms we will go through a lot of stuff but we must remember through it all god has been a burn it be all of this for us he sacrificed all of this for us and he's showing us that if he has been through it because remember he was a hundred percent man even and he was a hundred percent god but he's showing us that if he and if he can go through it trusting in his father which is his source we can go through it trusting and depending on him mm -hmm. who is our healer and who is our provider. 
praise be his holy name. Mm -hmm. In Matthew 11, 2, he said, and um, in Exodus 12 and the 26, and he said, if you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ears to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which Amen. I am brought upon the Egyptians. For Amen. I am the Lord that he let thee. Amen. That was a command. He's saying, if you just be diligently hearken to the voice of God, hear him. Hear him, because he is the great physician. He is a sympathizing Jesus. He speaks just the word. And heal all our diseases. Praise his holy name. And he's saying, if we just depend on him, trust in him, lean on him, seek him and him only. And that's what he was trying to tell the, the, the people, his people, he was the Israelites. He was saying to them, just depend on me as your source. He's saying to us today, just depend on me. No matter how high the mountain is. I'm in control of the mountain. I'm in control of the valley. I'm in control of the deep sea. I'm in control of the storm. And we see even when he was on the when the when the, he was on the boat with his disciples, when the storm came, he said, Peace be still. He's saying to us today, peace be still. Just trust in me, whatever it is. No matter what, I can calm the storm. And if I can calm the storm, I can heal your infirmities. Just lean on me. Don't doubt me. Just put your trust and depend on me. Just by my word, I can heal. Praise his holy name. Mm -hmm. Why do we think Jesus is called a great physician? He healed by his word. Praise his holy name. Matthew 8 and 16. When, he, he, when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with the, with the devil. And he cast out the spirit with his word and heal all their sicknesses. That's the God we serve. He healed with the word. Just, there is power in the word of God, brethren. Mm -hmm. There is power in the word of God. And as long as you use the word, there is healing in the power in the in the word of God. There is deliverance in the word of God. There is comfort in the word of God. Just use the word. Praise be his holy name. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Can conduct complex, multiple healing and surgical operation at the same time. That is who our God. Praise be His holy name. Hallelujah. In Psalms 107 and 20, David said, He sent His word and healed them and delivered them from all their depression, mm -hmm. all their disease. He pulled them from the grave. All of that. He, look at him, just one word. He looked to his father and he said, Come, Lazarus, come forth. He just speak the word, and the dead Lazarus jump out of his grave and come out. That's the God we serve. Powerful, mighty. Oh, praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Man. He said to the centurion man when in eight, Matthew 8 8, the centurion answered and said unto him, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest go under my roof. But speak the word, and thy and my servant will be healed. Just the word. Mm -hmm. And he speak the word, and the servant was healed. Mm -hmm. That's the God we speak to. That's the God we pray to. That's the God we call upon. Mm -hmm. Praise his only. He's our strength. Mm -hmm. He's our source. He's our protector. So we don't have to worry ourselves with fear and doubt. Because what? He is God. He's in control of everything. The good and the bad. Praise his holy name. Satan was created by God. He was a man like us. But he let pride take him over. Praise be his holy name. And that's why he's roaming and giving trouble. Our God is powerful than anything. He's greater than the greatest, mighty and the mightiest. That's the God we serve. And we don't have to worry ourselves. All we need to do is trust in him. Obey. That's what he made the statue. He said to them, if they obey him, 
praise be his holy name. And if they listen to his voice, praise his holy name. One writer said, his voice makes the difference. When he speaks, he releases my troubled mind. Just the word, listened. Listen to the voice, that still sweet, soft voice. When we listen to the voice of God, we don't have nothing to worry about. When he speak, he delivered. Mm -hmm. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Just one word. And the man was healed. There is nothing difficult for him. He is the final stop when it comes to healing. And Jeremiah in Jeremiah 30, 17 said, But I will restore you to health and heal your wound, declare the Lord. What a God we serve today, brethren. Hallelujah. Mm. He said, But I will restore you to health and heal your wound. The clear the Lord. He speak, and no one can change what he says. If he said it, he will do it. When he speak it, he do it. He's not our husband, or our children, or our parents who will say something and go back on his word. He never slack concern his promise. He never go back on his word. And that's the God we worship today. Praise his holy name. In no, first no, no, no. Peter 2 and 24, praise his holy name. He said, he our God, he is the only physician that can admit the dead to his hospital. And Peter said he personalized, carry out sin, carry our sins in his body and the cross so that he can be dead to sin, so that we can be dead to sin and live in righteousness by his own. We are healed. Praise be his holy. He is the only physician we know that can admit any dead body in his hospital mm. and bring it back to life. I had some tree plants on the back of my yard and, and when I was sick and when I came back they were dead. And when I come outside and I look at them I'm like wow. So I pour some water and the plant them and I said even though you're dead there's nothing too dead that God can't bring alive. And today I can look out at the back there when I look at the plants they every one start growing green leaves. That's the God we serve. Just the word. They speak the word. Because what? He brings, he bore our sins. He took all our sins to the cross. He came sinless. He was a spotless lamb of Calvary. No sin. But yes, he took on all of us today. Who's on the forum? All of us he took our sins in his body. Praise his holy name. So that we can dead to sin and life be alive in his righteousness. And he's, he was wounded so we can be healed. All those 20, 39 slashes was for our healing. Praise be his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he was wounded for our transgression. Isaiah 53 and 5 said, But he was fierce for our transgression, he was crushed for our iniquity. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wound we were healed. Hallelujah. And that's why we are healed today. Praise be his holy name, because of his, his, his wound. Praise be to God. Because of Hallelujah. all of the things that God has been through for us. Praise be his holy name. And every Hallelujah. behind the sickness, there are two spiritual behind our sickness and diseases. We are the spirit of and cleanness. And this spirit that cautious, it's a it's, it's an it's a conscious spirit. Praise his holy name. It's intelligent also. It's evil, it's corrupt, it's sinful. It depraved. Praise his holy name. These spirits make you smelly because sin is stink. Mm. Glory to God. It makes you do things, it embarrass you, expose you. Because what? Satan come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But we must remember that Jesus Christ came that we might have life and we might have it more abundantly. Praise be his holy name. You can right, look at the Luke 10 and 17 and you can read. I don't want to go all through these scriptures to read them for you. James 2, 19 and 1 Peter 5, 8. Brethren, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11 through 14. <laughs> read this scripture and you will see the power that the devil have on this earth, that he, all his tricks and all he got, the people who take their minds off the things of God. Mm. 
They are spirit of insanity. These are the spirit that turn your mind, the mind of people upside down. It make a person becomes danger to themselves. And that's why when Jesus was traveling with his disciples and the man was in the, in the, in the tomb, come out, cutting himself, Don't, when, when the Lord Jesus Christ rebuked the demons out of him. Those were demons of insanity. He was cutting up himself and don't even realize what he was doing. These are spirits of insanity. And these things affect us when our eyes are not on Jesus. When you take your eyes off God, these are the things that happen to us when we turn our, our ways from God. You can go into Mark 5 and 15 and Deuteronomy 28, 28, and you will see what the spirit of, of insanity is. Praise be his holy name. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The great physician, he always have a great prescription for everybody. And even when you go to the doctor, Bridget, you know when you go to the doctor, and no matter what the, they tell you, they're always going to give you a prescription. Go to the, the pharmacy. Get this. Get that. Praise be his holy name. And start taking it. Take this one a night, one a day. Every great physician always have a prescription for every diagnosis. Praise be his holy name. And when you get that diagnosis, when you get that prescription, you need to do a research. Some people just take medication, boom, boom, boom. And at the end of the day, you're, you go with your, for headache. But yet still, the medication that you get is for headache. And then it has something else to deal with the rest of the body. You have some other side effect. Praise be to holy name. And I'm telling you this of example because when I was in the hospital, I got medication. Right? And the medication that they gave me for the for, for, for cramp and pain as far as what they say in the and, and so that my blood cannot clot. That was something that was giving me shortness of breath. That was something that was making me fatigue. Having me get anxiety and all those things. Had it not been for my daughter, who is a pharmacist, who looked up and tell me, Mommy, don't take any more of that. That is what causes me to feel the way you feel. And immediately after I stopped taking it, I felt better. When Jesus Christ gave, Jesus Christ has already gave us the great physician. He gave us a prescription, which is the Holy Bible. Praise be His holy name. And when we go into the Holy Bible, we find the truth, we find healing, we find deliverance. Right? We find so many things in it. The mystery of the communion is the kingdom of the post of health. And when we take the, the, the communion, when we take communion, when we take the, the, the large supper we call it the large supper some call it communion when you take those things those are healing the blood of jesus heals our body the flesh of jesus heals our body praise his holy name as i was doing the research it said the blood carries the nature of christ which is in the immuneness to sickness and diseases leviticus 17 and 11. as we take the blood we receive the the with the, the, the we receive the twist blood corpuscles white corpuscles in our body. Praise is all in here. When we go into um, Revelation 12, 11 and twelve, and we go to Hebrew thirteen twenty and twenty one, it shows us how powerful our Lord, the Lord's Supper is. I was listening to the man of God on last Sunday, and he was talking. I was like, wow, he gets into my message. Praise his holy name. But there is power in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus heals. No matter what the infirmity is, the blood of Jesus cleanses us. And the word of God, I don't know about anybody, but when you go into the word of God, it doesn't matter how you feel, weak and down. When you go into the word of God, I'm telling you, praise be his holy name. You revive it, revive you. I had to speak this morning and, and um, when I wake this morning and getting ready to go to, to church, my whole waistline was in pain. I could hardly move myself to get dressed. But I look and I say, Satan, you're a liar from the pit of hell. The word of God has to go forth today. And I get dressed and I went to church. And I was in church in Sunday school and the, the enemy was beating upon my... And I didn't even pay mine. I said, I didn't come here to feel... To, to cry out to you. I come to worship the, 
true and living God because he said he sent his word and it heals our diseases. And by the time I'm ready to call to go speak, and when I reach up there, it disappeared. Because the word of God has come forth because there was someone inside there who needed, there was a visitor who needed the word. There was a lady when I finished, she said, God has given her the revelation before. I know she was in pain. I know she was in so much, she feels so sick. And the enemy didn't want her to get the word, so he was trying to stop me. But God, brethren, when you have a desire for the things of God, the enemy can never throw you down. And even if he try to crush you, he can never save you. But you will go through tickles, you will go through thorns, because Christ cannot bear the cross and the world go free. You will go through ache and pain. Mm. Yeah. My, my brethren, my, 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 my fellow brother and sister and the line to die today. You will go through things and as you remember Mara, Mara and that bitter water, they forget about who their source was coming from. Don't forget who your source is. When the ache and the pain rise on you, when things reaches you, remember there is a God who is our healer. God bless you. Just bow your head. Father, we thank you today. We thank you, Lord. Praise. We, give you, we give you honor. Lord, we look to you, Jesus, who is our source, our healer, our balm in Gilead. We trust in you today, and we thank you, Lord, for everything we pray. I pray today, Lord God, that every part today receive something, Lord Jesus, from this teaching, Lord, that they may run with it, Lord, knowing that you are God. And you never fail. You never change. Every failure and change is in us, but not in you, Lord. You raise Lazarus from the dead. You heal the blind. You heal the lame. You make the dumb to talk, the crippled to walk. The man who was slain at the message for 38 years, you let him take his bed and walk. You are the same God. You never change. You are the God of yesterday and today and forever. And so we thank you, Lord. Have your way in our life today. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. That is another powerful message today. God, in infinite mercy, will come to increase anointing upon your life and ministry. Woman of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our glory Hallelujah. It's mighty. Amen. And that mighty God will come to showcase himself in the life of everyone. Hallelujah. On this platform and in our ministries, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Right now, we want to go straight to the Holy Communion. The revelation came in last week by one of us, hallelujah, that God wants us to take Holy Communion. And we have had it in, our, in the message today. And I want to believe uh, it was posted to us. So please bring that your materials for Holy Communion. To seal up, it is to today is the last Sunday. The significance of this holy communion that we are taking is to seal up that dominion, to overcome sin, I mean, to overcome uh, sicknesses and uh, diseases. Hallelujah! And when you look at one of the functions of the holy communion, communion is that it renews, it restores health. Yes. It restores health. And you have seen, you have heard it from uh, the message today, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. He said, It restores health. It yeah. restores health. And then when you put Isaiah chapter 3, verse 5, by scribes, we are healed. Yeah. By scribes, we are healed. Another function of the Holy Communion is that it turns imperfection to perfection. Yes. It talks in perfection to perfection. perfection. When you receive the Holy Communion regularly, there's nothing like, uh, oh, um, I'm not perfect. Everybody, you know, everybody is imperfect. No, that is the function, that is the statement of an unbeliever. Hallelujah. Five, uh, Matthew 5, 48, it says, be, be perfect because your Almighty God is perfect. Yes. So as ministers of God, we walk towards perfection. And when you receive the Holy Communion, whatsoever in perfection that is in you, God, through the Holy Communion, the eating of his body and drinking of his blood, begin to turn those imperfections into perfection. 
And more, one important thing that I want us to know here is that the Holy Communion renews his, hallelujah, it renews his, your life policy in him. Your life policy in him. Hallelujah. You go with uh, John chapter 6 and verse 51. It says, is the it, is it living bread. Is yes. a living bread, the bread of life. Energize. The bread of life. It 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 provokes it provokes strength. <clears throat> it provokes strength in uh, Philippians 4, verse 13. That I can do all things that strengthen me. me. Amen. On the platform of the Holy Communion. Brother and sister, if you don't remember anything in this teaching for the past one, we'll remember two things that stand out for you and me as our daily medication. That's the word. The word of God, number one. Number two, the daily eating of his body and the drinking of his blood that was shared on the cross of uh, Calvary. Hallelujah. Three of Bible with me to First Corinthians plus John, First Corinthians chapter eleven. First Corinthians chapter eleven. First Corinthians chapter eleven. And then before we go, before we go into that place, the Holy Spirit just reminded me something now. Hallelujah. And I said First Peter chapter two and verse eleven. Say, so, dearly beloved, I perceive you. As strangers and pigments, obtain from fleshly lusts, which war against thy soul, obtain from every fleshly lust. Hallelujah. You are going to commit yourself to God right now. Hallelujah. And ask God to put away all those fleshy lusts. All those fleshy lusts. Anger. Anger. Malice. Hallelujah. Telling lies. Telling lies. Oh, to God, this moment, we want to eat the body, the blood. You cannot do it with sin. You had it in our message today. Hallelujah. He said, Our righteousness is just like a federal before him. Let's talk to God. All those foolish laws that have been warning you this as a minister, that have been preventing you not to minister his word in truth and in spirit. Ask God to follow you from you right now. Oh, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. Oh, you had it this, this night, this night. Talk to God. Every fleshly lost in me, Father, flush them out. Oh, talk to God. Talk to God. Which one is your own? Is it anger? Is it impatience? Ask God to flush them away. Is it telling lies? Ask God this moment to flush them away. You, you must not go into the month of May with all these blessed laws. Ministers in the house, leaders in the house. It is hour of restoration. Talk to God this moment. Oh God, this moment, in the name of Jesus Christ, ask God to flush out every flesh lost in you. Every flesh lost in you. Oh, talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Romans 12, verse 2. Say, be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Talk to God. Talk to God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, every flesh lost in us, O oh Lord, that may hinder in us not to minister your word, O oh Lord, in truth and the spirit. Find us an individual, O oh Lord, as a body this morning. Come and flood them out in us. Flood them out in us. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Talk to God. Is there anything that you have done that's right in your side, but wrong in the sight of God? Ask God to forgive. Oh Lord, my Father, anything I've done, oh Lord, that is right in my side, but wrong in your side, Almighty God, forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. You cannot, you are not permitted to break down. It's breaking down is not your portion. You are only permitted to have dominion. Oh, I want to take the only communion. Ask God, God, whatsoever thing I've done, oh Lord, that is wrong in your side, oh Lord, but right in my side, Father, forgive me. Father, forgive me. Forgive me, O oh Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, the Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Almighty Amen. God, have mercy on us, O oh Lord. Amen. Give us all our sins. 
that as we go into a brand new month, Lord Father, every flesh lost in us, yes, Lord. Lord, open our secrets. Let them be uprooted from our lives and be put of in Jesus' name. Father, Amen. Now, as we zero into a brand new month of May, create in us, O Lord, a new unction. Create in us, O Lord, a new anointing to minister your word, O Lord, in truth and in spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Lord of Lord, is there one of all on this platform right now that's battling with fleshly lust? Father, say, have mercy. Let it be yeah. put away from the life of that person now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Father, your word, Lord. You said you sent forth your word, and your word he led thee and delivered them from every destruction. Father, I thank and bless you because your word is it, and amen. And I will zero into this brand new month, oh Lord. Oh, it shall be testimony galore, both in life and ministry of every minister representing on this platform right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you because of God. For instance, my God will pray. Quickly, zero about with to First Corinthians chapter eleven, and I'm reading from verse twenty-three. Hallelujah! We want to quickly take the holy communion right now. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus Christ, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took the bread. Hallelujah. Are you there with the bread? Please take the bread. This is an unusual at, at our restoration. We have never done it. Yes, come. So you who are joining us for the first time. Yes. You, know, you are very lucky to be part of this, uh, 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 our restoration today. Hallelujah. It's an unusual our restoration. We don't do it, but God brought it as a revelation that we should do it, and that's why we are doing it. We know we do it. You do it in your churches. Hallelujah. But this one is a special one to create in you, to reside in you, to dwell in you, that power, that dominion over sin and sicknesses. I don't know the kind of sickness that is worrying you right now, but I want to assure you, after this time out, that sickness, that pain will not go with you. To the month of May in Jesus' name. He said, and he took the bread, hallelujah, and in verse 24, and when he has given thanks, he broke, he broke it and said, take, take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, this do ye in remembrance of me. Hallelujah. Let's pray, pray concerning that body, that Father, as I take your body, let it revitalize my own body, spiritually and physically. For sound health man and body, in the name of Jesus Christ, talk to God. Talk to God on that. That yes, God has God is now. Let me repartalize it. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you because it's done. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Let's take the body right now. Let's take the body. That's the body. Everyone and as we take the body, we zero it over 25. So after this same manner, also, he took the cup when he had supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Is do ye as as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the lost death. He comes. Let's commit the body, the blood also to the hands of God. That blood, God, as I drink your blood, your Lord, your blood, oh Lord, let it mix with my blood and create in me dominion in my Thank you, thank Holy Spirit, because I'm mighty God. Sanctify him on the Father and Son of the Spirit. Amen. Let's take it together. Let's take it together. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What's our pastor Regina mm. to wrap up this session with prayer? Mm. Amen. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set us free from sin and sorrow. 
the blood of Jesus set us free. I say the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus sets me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus sets me free. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. In the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. In the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. The blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is Our Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus Christ, mm. we thank you this hour because you are taking your flesh and your blood. Mm. We have renewed our strength. Mm. We have renewed our energy. We have renewed the system of our blood. Mm. We know, O oh Lord, in faith, Lord, we have believed that, Lord, that the blood of Jesus Christ have revitalized us again, have created a new body immune, O oh Lord, against diseases and, diseases and sicknesses, mm. against infirmities, O oh Lord. Therefore, Lord, the power in the blood has given us the dominion. Therefore, Lord, dominion over sickness, dominion over diseases and infirmities, mm. Lord, is ours now, O oh Lord. Yes. Sickness, diseases, and infirmities will never have dominion over us again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, prevention, as we have taken this now, O oh Lord, <laughs> any member of our family who have not been able to partake of this, which you have taken right now, O oh Lord, yes. wherever they are, O oh Lord, for I know that distance is not a barrier, but because your word said, you set forth your word, Mm. And your word healed them all mm. their diseases and infirmities. Mm. Father, we release the power of dominion now, O oh Lord, over our friends, mm. our families, mm. who are endangered with sickness, who are strangled with diseases and infirmities right now, O oh Lord. We declare release over that sickness and this infirmity, which Jesus Christ called devil. I command the devil of sickness, the devil of diseases and infirmities, to leave them now by the reason of the blood in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, in our homes, in our houses, in our office, sickness, diseases, in and infirmities will no longer have dominion over us again from now onwards because Amen. the power of dominion has given to us. Therefore, Lord, we are victorious. And we win forever in the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, a new life you are giving to us today. Yes. Because the life we live now is not our life. Mm. We live by Jesus Christ, whom Amen. we have taken his partake in his flesh and his blood today. Amen. Therefore, we have a new covenant mm. that covers us over sickness over disease, mm. over infirmities. Today, Lord, you have made us victorious Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Not just over sickness, disease, and infirmities, also over of enemies of the gospel, over the enemies of our lives, we are more than conquerors. Yes. Today, you have made us more than conquerors because we partake in the covenant of the blood yes. and of the flesh. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because today we have been made whole yes. and we shall be whole forever in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen. Father, I pray for everyone right here now, Lord. Yes, Lord. Who on this one, Lord, have committed himself to this hour of restoration, yes, to Lord. this platform. Father, sickness shall no longer be mentioned in his life. Diseases 
shall no longer be mentioned in his or her life. Infirmities shall no longer be mentioned in his or her life. Today, we are free. For a word says, whom the Son has set free, he is free indeed. We are partake of the blood and the flesh of the Son. Therefore, we are free indeed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. And amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Let us Thank shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Reverend Praise Gabriel, God. can you give me one minute? Some people requested that um, I gave them the breakdown of the um, bread. And the, so just give me one minute. Um, the, the communion. The communion um, is the mystery of the, um, is the kingdom toast for health strength and longevity and that psalms 105 and 37 and he wants the flesh what is the flesh is the flesh is the bread that can lighten the rod the flesh is can be the likeness of the rod of, of god that swallow up all the rod of the magician in our body that is jesus is that rod the flesh represents the miracle meal that energizes from the poison in our body so as to set us free from the, our negativity impacts and infirmities that's second king four and 39 41. the flesh is a divine energizer it supplies strength and energy and you can find it psalm 78 and 25 and psalm 105 and 37 it is also the brain cleanser. It treats the mind and the brain. Luke 24, 30 and 31. And the blood is the blood that carries the nature of Christ, which is immune to sickness and diseases. The blood also, as we take the blood, we receive the whiteness, the white blood corpuscles, which the blood of Jesus Christ. Hebrew... And that is, you can find that in um, Galatians 3, 6 to 13, Deuteronomy 28, 15 to 15, right? Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. We have had it. Hallelujah. Lord bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Our faith is perfected forever in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, uh, minister. Thank you very much, all the ministers that have ministered this month. God bless richly in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. And I pray God this new month of May will be much, much better for us in every area of our life and ministry than that of previous month in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I uh, want to quickly remind us next week, uh, the journey continues our restoration. This same hour, we want to appreciate those of you who are joining us for the first time today. God bless you richly uh, from Jamaica. Hallelujah. God bless you. I want to still encourage you to join us next uh, Sunday and always so that we can share the word of God together and learn from one another. Because we believe in this platform that ministry is about complementing, complementing, and that's what we are doing. So please, we want to encourage you to be part of us all the way from Jamaica. Thank you very much. Our, our bishop from Pakistan is always constant. God bless the church workers and our Pastor Regina all the way from Nigeria. You can see the, the background is so bright today. Not only so bright, the voice is so sharp, so audible. Hallelujah. Amen. Because why? There is a new system working already. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, man of God. God bless you, man of God. You know, last Sunday, he Amen. talks about the, a brand new phone and the God provided it miraculously. God Amen. provided it Closely. That's why you can see what you are seeing now. So that does it. So forward, ever, backward, never for all of us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. To remind Amen. us, uh, this announcement is so special. Come on the June, June of this month, on the 17th of June. Uh, by the grace of God, uh, we'll be having a program tagged Prayer Summit. Divine Power Ministries, which by the grace of God, uh, that God in my heart for this end, we'll be having prayer summit. Prayer summit. 
and the title is uh, the future of the church the future of the church it will coming up in one of our churches in the uh, u.s here hallelujah and uh, our bishop mckenzie who will minister in that uh, uh, prayer summit come 17th of june 2023 god help us by next sunday we will start posting the flyer on the platform so that we can all be part of it. We can all be part of it, particularly those of us who are in the U.S. here. And those of our who are in Nigeria, I know God can do it and can be here before that time too. In Amen. the name of Jesus Christ, praise the Lord. God can do it with an evil wind. And you see yourself here in Jesus' name. So that is that. I don't know, maybe there's anyone of us on this platform who want to say something, who has, uh, I, I want to uh, take uh, your take concerning the topic we have had, the message today. Do, if if any, anyone of us have any take, uh, anyone have any take? And, yes. Uh, maybe, okay. I have okay. something to say. I have something. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. God bless us all in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, the hour of restoration has been ahead to the Christendom. Not just the pastors or reverends or bishops that have been coming here. What you have done today is so spiritual. The Holy Communion has demanded, inspired by God, the Holy Spirit. Uh, I want us to understand Jesus' command. Do this in remembrance of me. Always. Not just once. I want to request or suggest, if it can be possible for us, at the end of every month, last one of every month of our meeting of all our teaching, we come together and break bread and wine, just as it was done in the book of Acts. Bible said they come together, they break, they break bread. Because it was commanded by Jesus Christ, they obey the ordinance of the communion in breaking bread and in taking wine always. Mm. That was where they are, where the Holy Spirit of God met them. Mm. See, the day of the Pentecost, when the Pentecost came on and they received the Holy Spirit. Because I believe that God has brought us together here to also to open Himself, to give us revelations of His mind. By inspiring all of us here in a world that go and speak to my people, my thoughts concerning what is happening today, how the ordinance of how I want my people to be, I would request that if it can be possible for us to continue in this, I believe we will see, all, we will see the divine plan of God concerning us by keeping the ordinance of our Lord Jesus Christ who said, do this in remembrance of me. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise, God. Lord. Praise God. Praise the Lord. It's, uh, it's, it's noted. Hallelujah. We welcome any idea, spiritual idea that will enhance this platform. Hallelujah. And uh, we have had it and God will help us to keep to it. It we is for our own benefit. It's not for the benefit of anybody. It's for our own benefit. And already we don't need to start rolling out, you know, what is the benefit. You know it already as ministers, as leader, you know it already. Hallelujah. So God will help us every last Sunday and uh, to keep to it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Any other contribution or take? Any other take? I think that's too. a good idea, Pastor. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Because mm -hmm. I know um there there are a lot of churches for today that doesn't even have communion. So it's a blessing, you know. Okay. Cool. I know I get mine every Friday every Friday morning and okay. every first Sunday. <laughs> I can see uh Bishop Louis. Bishop Louis, you all know. Is Bishop Louis there? Louis. Bishop Moise. Bishop Moise. Bishop Moise, can you give us a blessing? Blessing. I just got in. I was so busy, busy, busy. Okay. I know. I, I just know. have a few yeah, minutes, just so... got in. So, yeah, I didn't, know, I didn't know what it was uh, the beginning. 
Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But just give us updates on the peace, on the peace match. What are the updates? Uh, thank, are you you, me? thank you. Thank you so much. God bless everyone. I pray that the Lord has been smiling upon all. Please let's mute. If let's you can mute. mute your phone so that we can hear, please. Yeah, please mute your phone. Mute your phone, please. Okay. Thank you. Are you there, Bishop? Bishop Moise? Okay, please unmute yourself and and uh, can I hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, he's making this noise. Please. He's he, he's having a bad network. Okay, um the peace march will be coming up here in uh, New York, and uh, our bishop is the one championing it as led by the Spirit of God also, and will be coming up on the 27th of May. On the 27th of May, I think I'm right, 27th of May in New York here. Hallelujah. So please, let's continue to pray for that uh, program. It's also a program that we want to use to install uh, more peace in our community, in our society, in our nation here in the United States of America, and by extension, all over the whole world. So Bishop Moise is the one championing it. God will come to strengthen you, sir, and uh, grant you more strength, more unction to function in him in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So any other take, any other take as we want to wrap, wrap up now, I want to quickly remind us that um, the theme for the month of May is uh, dominion over fear. Dominion over fear. Dominion over fear is the theme for the month of May, taken from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 10, and uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, and in verse 7. Hallelujah. So God wants to take us to that point. Again, and I believe God will visit us through his word again on that in the name of Jesus Christ. The thing again is dominion over fear. And uh, the scripture is Isaiah 40, verse 10, and uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, and in verse 7. Let's go to pray for ourselves, pray for this uh, platform, and God, in infinite mercy, going to see us through. He saw us through in this month of uh, April. He will go ahead of us, grant us a passage, and uh, we'll start well and finish well in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Any, uh, would you have any representative from uh, 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 Jamaica there? Who, any of the bishop from Jamaica? Is there any bishop or reverend from Jamaica? Who is there from Jamaica? Evangelist Williams. Evangelist Williams, please can we see your beautiful face? Evangelist Williams, please. Can you, Evangelist Williams, can you unmute yourself? Evangelist Williams. I think, I think she's not here and I made it, she left. Um, okay, if you're the one. Hallelujah. Is there only the one from, from Jamaica that is on this platform? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They left. Well, Pastor Gabriel, they left already. Huh? I think they left already. Okay. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Bishop Wakas, God bless you. Can you... God bless all of you. Thank God you. Bless Thank you, you. Bishop Wakas. Bishop Wakas, give us a closing prayers. Do our closing prayers. May God pray bless all of you. And pray for us. Give our closing I'll prayers. Pray for us with you. And uh, give our closing prayers, Bishop Wakas. 
Yes. 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 Thank you for this day, special message through our love sister, Pastor Jenny. So I pray for everyone, especially our beloved brother, pastors, all pastors, bishops, and special for brother David, Marco family. So thank you, Jesus for this uh, day, special message to our sister Denny, blessed to this sermon. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Jesus, for new opportunity in our, uh, our restoration. Give us the Holy Spirit, touch us, bless us, Thank you for your love. Thank you for your blood. In your blood, we are free. So, I believe you are here because you said we are there two or three. I'm there. Mm. We are believers. Please bless us, everyone, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, take all the glory because of mighty God. Thank you, Father. Go before us in this month of May. Grant us new unction to function in you. Grant us fresh anointing. We want to excel in our ministry and in life, even in the month of May, in Jesus' name. And Amen. until we meet again, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and our sweet Amen. fellowship with the Holy Spirit rest and abide with each and one of us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely Amen. His goodness Amen. and mercy shall follow us Amen. all the days of our lives, and we shall all join us, O Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Praise the Praise Lord. God. Thank you very much. Thank you very Amen. much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless everyone. God bless everyone. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You'll hear from me soon. Mm. Oh yes, thank you. Thank you for the message. Thank you for the message. God bless you all. God bless for Pastor Gabriel. Amen. Amen. Bless us all in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless Amen. you, Reverend Reginald. Yes, ma'am.